your application. This is probably the most nerve wracking part of the entire process because you just hit submit and your application goes into a black hole and you don't know what's gonna happen. You have no, long, no idea how long it's gonna take to hear back. And every email that you see from that company, including the confirmation email, terrifies you because you're not sure what's gonna happen. But typically with your application, don't stress too much. The only thing you need to do is submit your resume. And as long as you follow my resume tips and have a referral, you should get that first round interview, as long as you're qualified as well. Uh, but one thing I want to touch on is a cover letter. Some companies will request a cover letter. But what I'm gonna say about that is one, don't stress. I've heard from multiple recruiters that they don't even, they'll ask for the cover letter, require it, and then never read it. Um, one of my friends who, he runs a recruiting company, literally jokes to me, he's like, you should write on it. You're not gonna read this, then submit it, because they're not gonna read it. But again, I've attached a template for your cover letter. If they require it, uh, or if they ask for one, fill it in. They're probably not gonna read it, so don't stress too much, but it's something that might be a nice to have. Second, We've touched on this a bit before, but apply as early as possible. These are rolling, so as soon as the application opens, you should apply. I've included a sheet that has an estimate time window for when each application period opens, so follow that. You should really be staying up to date with the company's career website, so checking it every day, and then also some programs like Lyft, Uber, and Facebook. Actually, you can follow them on social media. Another thing you can do is follow a few recruiters from that company, that job is university recruiting on LinkedIn, and they'll usually post the application when it opens as well. One of the biggest things that I can suggest though, is just making sure you get your application in on time because companies, for an example, Intuit, I never even actually applied online. Uh, the way I applied was I got a referral. My, ref the person who referred me submitted my application for me and then I got an email from a recruiter to set up a phone call. And I never actually applied, which, and I ended up asking them on my onsite. It was like, hey, like I actually never saw your application open. Like, when did you guys open it? Then the recruiter told me, he's like, yeah, so we had it on the website for five days and we got 1,200 applications, so we shut it down. Like that company has 1,200 resumes to go through and they took three people. Like that, that so I just really want to make and get this point of cost and how really important how important it actually is. So remember, follow the applications, get them in on time. Don't stress too much about cover letters and make sure you have a killer resume.